Welcome to Lorain County Community College's Merit, the Manufacturing Electronics and Rework Institute for Training. This is where we not only train the bachelor's degree students in the program of microelectronic manufacturing, this is also where we offer all of the training that you've already seen in soldering irons and hot air rework stations and all that, and more as workforce training modules to companies who are still in need of workforce. See, the students are part of a training and education system that trains them in the hands-on skills of doing microelectronic manufacturing, design, development, and production and rework. But we can offer that same content in short-term classes in our training facility here, Merit, if you are interested in it. I can't tell you how many times we get folks who have hired in brand new technicians of some sort who don't know about how to do um, anything involving solder paste. You know what? Solder paste is kind of an odd thing when you really think about it in, in a lot of ways. Really a sort of an oddball type of thing to it on there. Trying to explain what a stencil like this is in terms of what it actually physically is, let alone trying to explain how we place it on the inside of a system that has a couple of squeegees all the way down the back part of it right there that uses a series of holes as mechanical fiducials to be able to align up this layer not only with the board that goes underneath it on the conveyor but also once it's locked down into place into these particular mechanical fiducials that takes a lot to explain that to some folks with it on there in terms of them seeing it for the first time. Be they a brand new SMT operator, a student who's part of our college program, or heck, a mechanical engineer that's fresh out of the university that just has never seen this kind of work before, you know? That's never seen what a, um, how a circuit board is ultimately manufactured. You would do this, wouldn't you? Oh, that's the wrong one. Right in the middle of recording. Here, we've got our stencil print inspection system where we train students in the criticality of looking for solder defects on stencil print inspection. But it's so easy in some cases to be able to take a circuit board once it's gone through this process here. Once the 3D imaging system has gone ahead and scanned through each one of those processes there on the board, each one of those little field of views on the board. And that not only does this have the ability of accurately defining where this, where the misprint is, in the case with it right there, here we've got the pattern that's missing in all sorts of places with it there, but also to identify to them here is what a good print should look like on top of that too. We want to be able to show them what it looks like good and what it looks like bad. For the pick and play system, here is where students and workforce can get training in how to load up feeders, you know, the oddness of what a tape and reel actually is, right? How to splice it, how to load it up onto convey onto feeder-like systems to where it's being done accurately in the right orientation. What What is the moisture sensitivity level, right? That's kind of an odd feature to explain to someone who's never ever done it before, right? And then ultimately explain to them how to be predictive rather than to be reactive. What I mean by that is on the pick and place line, how to make sure that the feeders are all loaded into the correct places, right? How to test to make sure that the correct nozzles have been loaded in, such as our Panasonic pick and place system right there. How to check to make sure that this system is able to accurately scan this part, pick it up on here, one after another. Right now it's doing what's called a gap confirmed test, where it's moving with a part that's got a recognizable um, polarity marker, and it says, I'm able to move at my top speed, and I see that polarity marker each and every time, just as it's been programmed in. 
the brightness test that's been performed. How to mull out a reflow oven, all eight zones of our Heller reflow oven, right? How to do AOI inspection work. Actually, on this system right now are the last labs that I ran for, uh, for, uh, for the students who are part of a classes that are running right now. Here, we've manufactured circuit boards that have defects on them. Can you see them on there? 210 parts, probably with a little bit of some speed and accuracy, you could probably find them with it on there. But we, our laboratories trained them in how to scan these boards in a timely and efficient manner. To be able to find the defects, not just as part of some college project. Oh no, they have eight minutes to find all the defects on all of these boards, identify where they are, and identify which batch these next go into with it on there. All of it using a 3D inspection system with oblique inspection viewing to it to explain to them, here's how that particular process is done, right? With everything except for BGAs, right? BGAs, that next part of <laughs> SMT manufacturing is ultimately started by using this system right over here, our creative electron X-ray detection system, right? Here's where we train new workforce, operators, new engineers, and new students in what's a solder void doing with it on there. You see that? Here's one of the ones that we manufactured incorrectly just the other day. That guy right there. See the void? You see the void? I see a void with it on here, all right? Using our advanced imaging system, we can actually detect where that void is and exactly how big that void happens to be with it. And we don't just have the ability to detect it as well. We also have the ability to repair it. We are a college and training institute that has developed a training program in BGA rework, which is really something that's kind of gotten to a lot of people's attentions with it. How to train for what that particular PCB part happens to look like with it here, which there you've got what the actual board looks like, our board that one of our training boards that we work with. In addition to that, one of our BGA training chips, which is coming in awful blurry with it on there, but I think you get the, the gist with it on there. How to, how to actually go ahead and align up these two on top of one another so that the dots ultimately match with the dots that are on there. Oh my goodness, that is way off in its alignment, but you get the right gist with it on there. And then how to come all the way down onto the board here so that part can ultimately be reflowed, how to test the temperature as it's being reflowed, all the important parts that it takes to actually reflow a chip. All of that is what we teach at Merit. And we're not just teaching this, we're not just teaching this because we're some college that's trying to, that's trying to have something cool. I mean, we are, but you know, in some ways, like we're doing this so that we can train workforce, right? We're not building prototypes or anything like that. That's anything kind of fancy with it, just teaching tools to be able to train the newest of the workforce, to be able to train people on how to use a pick and place system, to be able to train people on how to load feeders, to be able to train people about stencil printing and stencil print inspection, how to wash the stencils once they're done with them, how to inspect the stencils once they're completed, how to store parts in moisture sensitivity cabins to it on there. All of this, all of this, so that we can get students jobs. That's the goal of this whole thing. In all honesty though, they don't just call us first in the nation for student success for a reason with it on there. That is what Lorraine County Community College really is with it on there. But merit can help you with that. Merit can ultimately help you and your workforce find new workforce, train new workforce. Get folks who might be interested in your manufacturing facilities and being able to do this here, right? I've actually got my contact information up here on the boards. If you do have any questions or anything like that, you want, to get, you want some training over for your folks, let me know. You want to have additional feedback to help drive our curriculum so that we're training good solder technicians and operators, let us know. Because we only exist if the students that we're training in are hired in and we want to help your workforce grow otherwise with it on there. So. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining all along with this. And uh, if 
Follow me on LinkedIn, by the way, as well. If you're interested in any additional information about this, what our students are working on, uh, job opportunities, that kind of stuff, give me a, give me a link with it on there. And uh, we'll see you around on the next one, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.